Hello everybody, Storybooks I'm here with a brand new challenge for you. I have decided to do a Haunted Asylum challenge. Now this is going to be a twist on the regular Sims 4 Asylum challenge, which I will link down below if you want the rules to that. And then I kind of put my own little spin on it to, uh, since Halloween is coming up, I wanted to give it kind of a creepier, ghostly vibe. Uh, there was a haunted asylum challenge i believe for the sims 3. um so i tried to incorporate a little bit of that obviously this game is a lot different um so i'm gonna run through the rules with you real quick and then introduce you to our patients uh with the uh regular asylum challenge we'll be following most of those rules and then add a few twists to it we start out with eight sims we will only be able to control one which is going to be emma ryan she is our main sim uh, two of the other patients may get a job um, off-site, but it must be in the criminal career, so I'm not sure yet, but two of these people we will send out to work because we do need to make money to pay our bills. Uh, also, uh, I am doing the, there are different levels you can do. There's easy, medium, and hard. I'm going to be doing medium. Uh, we can only start with 500 simoleons, so I do need to go and uh, subtract this money from here, so I'll do that in just a minute. Uh, normally on medium mode you would complete three aspirations we are only going to be completing two um, because I'm adding in the ghost twist so that's going to add in um, something else we have to do which I'll get into in a minute also uh, you cannot have a computer and a TV for so for uh, this challenge we have a computer because Emma wants to be a writer and that's one of our first aspirations we're going to be completing. Uh, you may only have one sink, one toilet, and one tub. Uh, that's all we have. And that will make things pretty difficult for the Sims. You know, we have eight of us all trying to do uh, take care of our needs. Um, I know normally there are a lot of deaths from embarrassment in this game. Because they walk in on each other a lot. You are allowed to have no more than five beds, which uh, let me show you the just the outside of the house real quick, and then we'll go inside. I downloaded this house from the exchange. I will also uh, link the creator down below. It's a beautiful house. I'm not much of a builder, so I just went ahead and found one that's already made. It was already pretty much set up the way I needed it. I just had to delete um, a few chairs and things like that to meet uh, the requirements of the challenge but uh let's uh go inside real quick so down here you can see we're only allowed to have uh six seating areas so if you'll look here we have three on the couch and one here so that's four one at the computer makes five and then we have one in here in the kitchen so that's six there were actually two chairs here i had to delete one and there was actually also a chess table here and two chairs so i had to delete that as well because we would be over our seating requirement if you go upstairs we have uh, five bedrooms, five beds, so one, two, three, four, five. So they each have their, um, well, they don't each, we have five separate bedrooms. Uh, someone can also sleep on the couch or nap on the couch, but that's about it. So we're gonna have a lot of tired, grumpy Sims running around. And I can't do anything to help the needs of anyone except for Emma, who is my main Sim. Uh, let's see the other rules we have um, we can only have uh, five skill building items which that is I don't even know if we actually have five we have the computer um, the punching bag that's two the easel is three uh, the workstation woodworking station is four so we might not even have five yet unless the pool I don't think that counts does that build athletic I'm not sure I'll have to check but for now we have four or possibly five um, I can't think of any more I want to add right now if I need to we will check with the rules and see um, there's also limitations to when the patients are allowed to leave the asylum we may only leave as a group so if uh, Emma needs to go somewhere we have to take everybody with us so it'll be a, a group outing and we can only if we want to fish or collect items we can do that between the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, any other place we want to go we have to do between the hours of 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. I don't know that we'll be taking a lot of outings we'll just see how it goes uh, we might stay here at the asylum most of the time because we have a lot of stuff we're gonna have to uh, complete here um, also if a sim dies uh, 
which will likely happen throughout this challenge, several of them may die, we have to delete uh, at least one chair and one bed until we're down to just one of each and then we can keep those. Now what I have added to the game with the ghosts is this asylum that they are moving into is actually a haunted asylum. So before I started this challenge, I moved a group of asylum patients in that I found on the gallery and I killed um, seven of them. It was seven of them. I killed them off and now their urns are here. Uh, we have two of them down here. Uh, this is just a uh, fake one that was already here, but we have two of them here. And then if you go uh, upstairs in each of the rooms, there is also an urn. So the asylum is already haunted uh, with previous patients. And the backstory is somehow these uh, patients were mysteriously dying. So this asylum was shut down for many, many years. They decided to renovate it and open it back up again. And these are our brand new test patients that are moving in. Now, Another part of the challenge, because to get out of the asylum, the goal is to get out for Emma, and she has to complete two aspirations to show her psychiatrist that uh, she is ready to join the world again. But another aspect to that is I'm going, to, because we're going to have these ghosts roaming around, I decided that Emma is going to have to befriend these ghosts. So her job is any ghost uh, that comes out, she will need to befriend them and then uh, send them off into the netherworld. So her job is basically to make them at peace with their death and then send them off on their way. Uh, ghosts do tend to come in and cause trouble, so we will, we will want to try to befriend them as fast as possible and, and kick them out of here because they will cause us a lot of problems. But that is also a goal uh, for her to be released. So she's going to have to complete those two aspirations and then befriend all the ghosts and send them on their way. And that might be pretty difficult to do because they only tend to come out at night. Uh, they don't come out every night. And we have seven of them plus any of our sims that die. She will also have to do that with. Now, one other rule that I think I'm going to bend or break on this challenge is I'm only allowed to control Emma, which I'm fine with normally. Like, I don't want to control the other Sims to help them with their needs. But a problem we're going to run into is we have to pay bills. And we have things like the woodworking station and the painting easel that we can make money with. But unfortunately, with The Sims 4, even on free will, usually the other Sims will not use those things so i don't i think it's kind of unfair that poor emma has to make all the money to pay the bills for the asylum i think everybody should have to pitch in so i will be controlling the other sims only to force them to work um so i would have them say come over to the woodworking station and make something or go paint something that sort of thing i will not take care of any of their needs help them if they're about to die anything like that because that's the purpose of this challenge is that i only take care of the one sim so other than that i think that's all the rules so let me go ahead and introduce you to our sims so of course i've already told you this is um uh emma ryan it's going to take me a while to learn all these Sims names, but Emma, let's look at her uh, traits real quick. She is neat. I made a couple of them neat because I'm hoping they're going to clean up after themselves because it drives me crazy when it gets really dirty in here. So I made her neat. She is good. She is insane. And she is a muser. That's another rule of this challenge. Every Sim in the asylum must have the insane trait. So all of these Sims you'll notice do have that trait. Now, our first aspiration we will be going to complete is a best-selling author. I thought that would be a good one to start with because it will help us start earning money so we can hopefully pay our bills. Um, so she'll need to write two books and also write for one hour while inspired. And then let's go through the list. This is Rhett. Uh, he's inside. He's actually one of the original Sims um, from the original eight that I moved in and killed off. I only killed off seven, he stayed. So I need him to change his clothes. We'll do that in a minute. Um, back into his asylum outfit. Uh, but let's look at his traits real quick. He's romantic, a geek, insane, and alluring. So hopefully maybe that will get some flirting going on in the asylum. 
Then we have Greg Myers. I think he is very handsome, and I love the tattoo he has going on. He is insane, active, a music lover, and a muser. Next, we have Casey. Where are you, Casey? There you are. He's got that, you know, kind of little boyish, boy next door look going on. He is a bro. He's childish. He's insane and gregarious. Next, we move on to Tate Powell over here. Another one with the tattoo going on. Tate is an art lover, neat, insane, and a muser. And following Tate, we have Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte's right here. She is insane, gloomy, a geek, and a quick learner. Um, the gloomy Sims, I believe they tend to have a hard time in the asylum, especially with the death that goes around. They mourn and mourn and mourn quite a bit. Uh, so it'll be interesting to watch and see how she takes to the asylum. And then next we have Mackenzie. She's back here. I think she is super cute. She is insane, gloomy, a geek, and a quick... Oh, no, we're not on the right one. Uh, Mackenzie, she is romantic, insane, creative, and alluring. And then next we have Erin. I think she's going to be one of our more interesting patients. Um, she is a neat, she is neat, a genius, insane, and dastardly because uh, her aspiration is to be a public enemy. So I think it'll be interesting to see how she gets along. I think she's not going to get along with a lot of the people in here. She might be playing pranks on them, being mean to them, just being mischievous in general. So with all that being said, let me go fix our family funds real quick and then we will get started with our challenge. Alrighty, so I have fixed our family funds and we are ready to get started. Let me turn the cheats back off there and let's see what they all decide to go. Oh, I did need to go and um, have this one change his uh, outfit real quick because I want him in his... No, I don't want to do that. change outfit to his every day. Now I didn't set their other outfit so I may have to go back in and do that at another time. Hopefully they'll wear their every day most of the time except for they do have a pool back here so um, other than that they'll be using their swimwear which is not really a big deal but I'd like for them to wear you know their little patient outfits most of the time. So uh, let's check on Emma. She's already been taking out the trash like the neat little sim she is. I do really love the way the Sims look in this game. I think they're adorable, and I think the game in general, it's just very pretty. It has a little bit more of a cartoon look than The Sims 3, but I do, it's just a really beautiful scenery going on around here. Now, she doesn't seem to, she's, uh, what is she doing? She wants to chat with Tate. Tate acquired the fitness skill, um, and Charlotte acquired the charisma skill. Okay, now let's check on her needs. We need to make sure we send her to bed plenty early because we want to make sure she gets a bed and gets a good night's sleep. Oh, also we need to decide, yeah, they're already getting in this pool, which I found out quite a few of them, which I figured they're gonna be using the pool a lot. Um, we need to decide who we want to get a job. Um, who looks like our little criminals? Actually, probably Erin would do well, um, you know, with her, uh, she wants to be a public enemy. So I might have her get a job, and I'm not sure who else. Um, let's see. We will, how do we, no, we don't want to plan a social event. We want to get a job. I'm still fairly new to The Sims 4. I played it a little bit when it first came out, um, but quickly went back to The Sims 3. I just found The Sims 3 a little bit more entertaining. I do, I, I miss the open world aspect. I wish The Sims 4 had that. But The Sims 4 I do come back to occasionally, and I decided, that's why I decided to do a challenge uh, instead of an a let's play because I feel like there's not a lot to do with a let's play but the challenges really do make this game a lot more interesting 
So I think that is, that's why I decided to start this way and we'll just see how that goes. All right, who else do we want? I'm thinking one of the boys. We take his little tattooed self. Okay, so she has to get a job in the criminal career. Um, she'll be making $9 an hour, so that will bring in some money to our household funds. Now remember again, I can't control her unless it's um, job related which we're just getting her job. So I won't have her be doing any really of the work at home since she's going to be working outside of the asylum. And then I think we will have Tate. I think Tate, um, I think he'd be a good little criminal. Where is he? In the pool swimming. Yeah, let's have uh, Tate get a job. Mm, I don't know, maybe Rhett. They're over here mourning. Look at them. Is he also gloomy? Now we can check on them. I will be clicking on them to check on them. I think the rules might have even said you're not even supposed to click on them. But I'm like, what's the fun in that? I want to know what's going on. I want to be able to check their relationships. I just won't be forcing them to do anything. He is not gloomy. But I think I'll have Rhett get a job. Because I will kind of want to keep Tate around a little more. Uh, around the house more. So let's have him find a job. And once he does that, we will switch back to Emma and uh, get her started on her aspirations because that's going to be our only way to break out of here. So he will also be joining the criminal career. Um, the times they work is going to be from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. So they will be working overnight, which actually will probably work out well because uh, they won't miss the beds that they are so desperately going to need. They'll be able to have them during the day when other people are awake. All right, so let's get back to Emma. We are not going to join a career. Oh, what is she wanting to do? Mourn fair. So like I said, this was one of the previous patients that mysteriously passed away in the asylum. Hopefully these patients will be coming to visit us every night so we can befriend them and send them on their way. But let's go ahead and check out what she needs to do here for her aspiration. We need to write two books and write for one hour while inspired. I don't even remember how to get inspired. I know you can, if you do an inspired painting, I believe you can um, put that in the room and it will make anybody around it inspired. Oh, it's going to be hard to get to this computer. I wonder, if, can we kick her off? Uh so we can treat her, I guess, because Halloween is coming up. We need to write, mm, write a genre book. I guess we can only write children's right now, so we're going to do that. So let's get Emma down. No, I bet because she's on here. Maybe we can distract her by gossiping with her. Let's do that. No, no, no. And uh, get her to get off the computer because we need it. She's just playing games. I know it's going to be a fight for this computer lock because we don't have a TV because you can only have a computer or a TV. So we had to go with a computer. Um, so there's not a whole lot for them to do for entertainment. I might get them um, like a radio or something at some point because I know Sims tend to like that. She is so sad. Why? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot they can multitask so they can talk while she's on the computer. Ugh. Go here together. There we go. Yeah, we're kind of uh, going to trick you, this uh, Charlotte. Come on. Come on, Charlotte. Please. Here we go. Yes. Mission accomplished. Now, we actually don't want to hang out with you. We have work to do. So, let's start writing our first children's book. No, 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 no. We can make friends later. Then I need to keep an eye on her needs. I figure everyone will just kind of cook for themselves, do their own things. I am not going to be cooking for everybody. Um, because I just don't think that's my job. Pat the Badger. Mm. I'm not really liking that. Um, Let's go with Pat the monkey. No, let's not do that. Oh, Pat the dragon. There we go. We'll go with that. This is a children's book. Fine. 
works for me. This Aaron. Aaron's the one that I think we're going to have the most problems with. Everybody seems to be doing okay right now. Um, I don't think anything's going to become an issue really until we need to use the restroom. Here is our one bathroom with our uh, toilet and shower. And then the sink is right here in the kitchen because we're only not allowed to have one sink. So we cannot have one in the bathroom and the kitchen. But I like that it's right next to the bathroom. So they can still wash their hands after doing their business. And let's see, who do we have swimming over here? The boys. We do have a, good, a lot of good looking men in here. Let's see. So this is Greg and... Where is he? This is uh, Tate. Greg and Tate. It's going to take, I'm so terrible with names. It's going to take me a while. So the boys are just swimming. Let's see how she's doing. Oh, she's also having a conversation. That is the one thing I do love about The Sims 4. Um, where it is lacking in the open world concept, I do love how they can multitask. Um, I think that's a really, really great thing that I really wish The Sims 3 had. They are talking about houses. We're going to go ahead and fast forward through this. I really just want her to... Is she even writing anymore? Uh, maybe I should have her stop chatting. But I guess she's making some friends. That's good. Let's check on their relationships. We do want them to get along. So she's getting along well with Casey and with Charlotte, Tate, and Rhett. Um, she's definitely building a decent relationship with Casey, so we'll see how that develops in the future. Like him and his little red swim, swim pants. And I tried to give them all somewhat similar outfits, but changed them up a little so they're not identical. But they all kind of have the white colored shirts, the blue or gray colored pants, and slip-on type shoes. He's enjoying some orange juice. Okay, you need to stop chatting and get back to work. I need to figure out how we can get her inspired. Oh, she needs to use the toilet. Actually, let's go do that. We can get back to writing in a little bit. Because while it's available, we need to go ahead and use it. So hopefully people won't be walking in on us. Oh, see, this is going to be really difficult to use this computer. I wish we could just lock it up in a room with us, but I believe that's against the rules. We have to share everything in this asylum. All right, we've used the bathroom. And see, we're a neat sim, so we are washing our hands. Good girl. Why is she so sad? Remembering a sim that passed away. That's actually really annoying, because the sims that passed away here, our sims, did not even know but I guess they're going to be mourning them. She's going to go cry it out. Are you really that sad about somebody you didn't even know? Oh, look at her. She's crying too. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of crying going on in here. Charlotte acquired the mischief skill. It's really sad. Okay, but she's feeling better now. Okay, let's go downstairs and... Oh, they're cooking in here. Please don't start a fire. Makes me nervous when they first start cooking. And we can't really afford to be replacing a lot of stuff. We actually really need to start making money. Ah, that's where this comes in. So let's see who's... What I'm going to be doing is just seeing who's in an okay mood and putting them to work. So we have Greg over here. I know there's some of them that actually want to be... Um, didn't we have one that wanted to be a painter? No. Okay, so we are going to have Charlotte because we need her to get off the computer anyway. So we're going to have her come craft a sculpture. We will do a knife block. So get off the computer. And again, this is the only time I'm going to control them is to force them to do work to make us money so we can pay our bills. 
And then I guess we will have uh, Tate become our little painter for right now. And he's going to do a classic painting. We will start with a small because that's the cheapest. Oh, he was actually cooking. Sorry, Tate. Oh, maybe he'll finish it. Okay, good. Alrighty, so let's go check on Emma. Are you just going to stand? Look, she just looks frozen. What are you doing? I do need to check the free will, actually. <laughs> Duh! Okay, Gigi. Sorry, guys. That's why she... I had her on pause. Yeah, let's pretend that didn't happen. All right, so what does she need? She is going to get hungry pretty soon, so I think we will have something to eat. No, we're not going to go more Natalie. You'll be meeting these ghosts soon enough when we got to make friends. Maybe I can have her resume making the mac and cheese so we can eat. Sorry, Tate, we're going to steal your food. Now, what's going on with the food on the floor? They don't have a lot of counter space in this kitchen. Well, they have this over here, so... I don't know what the issue is. Everyone so far though is doing pretty well. We don't have any embarrassed sims, which is good. Um, we have a lot of sad sims, but I guess that's gonna happen since uh, this is the haunted asylum challenge. It's the purpose of it. Okay, acquired the cooking skill. She is having her uh, dinner. Look at that mac and cheese. That doesn't really look like mac and cheese like what's the green stuff on top like who has green stuff on top of their mac and cheese and then it has some little brown i don't know it's not very realistic of mac and cheese and mac and cheese tends to have a little bit more of an orange color to it as well so yeah and we have uh this is greg right greg chatting us up over here let's take a look at our relationships again we're still highest with casey but uh, Greg is going to be moving on up there. I like all the boys in here. They are all pretty good looking. So we'll see who she gets along most with. And maybe have us a little haunted asylum romance. Casey acquired the video gaming skill. Okay, Tate, did you finish? Uh... Did he finish a painting? Where's their inventory? He's starving. He probably did. Oh yeah, he did. Look, it's over here. And that's actually pretty good looking. So I guess we can sell to collector. Let's do that. Make us some money. And he's having himself a drink. Alrighty, we made $80. So, I will let him, uh, I'm actually going to have him start another painting, do another small one. And then we'll leave him alone for the day, let somebody else do the work. I think I'll kind of alter through them. I'm not just going to have one paint over and over and become really good at it. I feel like maybe that would be cheating a little bit. I don't want to make it too easy. Uh, the time spent woodworking has paid off well. Check your Sims inventory. So, this is Charlotte. Uh, yes, what is this? A knife block. Um, well, okay, we can sell that for five dollars, uh, which is what it cost us to make. Uh, Charlotte's gonna go cry because she's sad, so we'll leave her alone for a bit. Emma, what are you doing? Chatting with Kayla. I guess she's trying to meet the neighbors, but really, I need for her to. Uh, we're gonna have what's his face off the computer so let's um call him over pretend like we want to chat with him and then get over here see they're just over here gaming we have work we need to do we got a book we need to write come on really oh man come on Casey this is really annoying um Okay, let's come chat with him, and then maybe we can, once we get in a conversation with him, we can get him off like we did with uh, Charlotte. Let's see if this will work. Yes. Pretending we want to talk to you because we really need your spot right there, buddy. No, it won't let us go here with. Come on. 
Um, well, if we hug him, he would have to get up. Let's see if he'll want to hug us. Come on. Come on, Casey. We're actually getting pretty up there. We're almost friends with him. People are tend to... Oh, flirty. Rhett? What? He's mourning Peter and feeling flirty. Um, I don't know. I mean, he must have had something going on before with one of the other people. Why is she purple? What's purple? Focused. What is she doing? I'm not sure. Maybe from swimming. I don't know what got her focused. Oh, because she's a genius sim. So that just kind of happens. Did we go? <laughs> He's seriously not getting off the computer. Um... No. Okay, he's off. He's off. Good. Yes. Get over here. And write. We are going to resume writing. Pat the dragon. I'm gonna have to come up with some better names for these books, but yeah, might have to have a list ready for next time. Look, <laughs> she's so excited to be writing this book. All right, so we'll let her continue to do that. Um, Tate, did he finish our uh, painting over here? He did, look, he did a flower. He's done some pretty good ones. So let's sell to collector. Wasn't worth quite as, bit, as much as the other one, but that's okay. And then uh, where is, she's in a better mood today, so. See, I think we'll take turns. So today he's our painter and she's our woodworker. And then maybe tomorrow we'll have somebody else. We're going to try knife block again, see if we can do a better job than we did last time. And Emma is still riding away, getting ready to gain a skill point. Um, she's not having very much fun, but sorry, dear. If we ever want to get out of this place, it's going to take a while to complete these aspirations. I've still got to figure out how to get inspired. Maybe writing makes you inspired or, okay. He's feeling inspired from painting. Um, so maybe we might have to make her paint to get her inspired. But I'll do some, I know you can take certain types of shower. Is it a thoughtful shower that makes you inspired? We'll try that in a minute after we uh, are done with this book. Let's fast forward a little. Yeah, everybody is doing pretty well. Well, Charlotte is now uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, because she's woodworking, but she's going to have to finish that and then she can do whatever she needs to do. Oh, let's see if she finished it. No. Maybe this will turn out a little bit better than our other one. Okay. So let's take a look in her inventory. Um, what? It still looks like a big piece of junk. So yeah. And it's still only worth $5, but hey, whatever. It'll manage. So she's already gone to sleep. Oh, is Emma already going to sleep as well? It is 10.30. Oh, she finished her book. We need to... How do we publish our books? Hold on. So she's going to go ahead and go to bed. So we did get a bed and I didn't even have to try. Um, I'm... I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. I think it's already been kind of long. Uh, today we just kind of, I introduce you to the rules, um, all the patience. I will be filming a lot at night as well, so I won't just fast forward through the night. Um, in the next part, I'll start off fast forwarding through the night, but if any of the ghosts come up, I do want, or any of the ghosts come out, I do want to get Emma up to go interact with them. So like I said, we do have to befriend them and send them off to the netherworld in order to uh, get out of the asylum. And so I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.